Chris Heather and I'm the Children's Specialist at the Tewksbury Library. Welcome to Little Einstein Science. Today's science is good for children about ages 3 to 6. And today we are going to be talking about our five senses. So our five senses are really important because they give us an understanding of what's going on in the world around us. So my five senses are my sense of sight, my sense of smell, my sense of taste, my sense of touch, and my sense of hearing. And so all of these different things give me information about what's going on around me. They help keep me safe. My eyes can let me know if they see danger coming, and that sends a quick signal to my brain, and then my brain can quickly then send a signal maybe to my feet if I need to run away from the danger. So today we are going to be doing a few different activities to explore our five senses. If you picked up a bag of supplies at the library, it would have this booklet in it. This booklet is going to help us um, record all things that we notice using each of our five senses. So this is something really good you could take on a nature walk if you go outside and you can uh, look for things and record what you find using your five senses. There is um, some pop rocks inside your bags as well. And so these pop rocks are candy. They're pretty fun to explore. And there's also a recording sheet. Again, what you observe using your eyes, your nose, your sense of smell, your sense of touch with your hands, your sense of taste with your mouth, and your sense of hearing with your ears. So Pop Rocks candy are something that's really good to explore because you can find something to notice using each of your different senses and Pop Rocks. The first thing you might want to do is go outside or you can stay inside if you'd like as well and just walk around your own house. And so you can use this booklet and put your name right on the front there so everyone knows it's yours. And you are the scientist using this to observe the world. So the first page is hearing. So notice what you can hear either inside your house or outside. The next one is touch. What can you touch inside your house or outside? So you can draw a picture of it and then you can write down what it is there. And you can do the same for if you happen to taste anything. Maybe you bring something with you, or maybe you even try tasting, if you have a garden, try tasting something inside your garden. Then we've got sense of smell and the sense of sight, and that's that for your booklet. So meet me right back here once you're all set, observing the world, either outside or inside, using your five senses and your recording observation booklet. Something that's really cool to know about your five senses is that you use at least one of them every minute of every day and they're never off duty even while you're sleeping. So even while you're sleeping you can still smell stuff and your brain can still process what it is but as long as it's not dangerous it won't wake you up. Now that you've walked around and you have observed the world around you either in your own yard or in your own house you can open up the Pop Rocks candy that we gave you, or that maybe you got for yourself, and you can start to use this worksheet to guide you through everything that you notice about the Pop Rocks. So I'm going to pour a little bit out into my hand. You might pour some out onto a napkin in front of you if you'd like. And I'm just going to use my sense of sight to look at and notice what I see about the Pop Rocks. So these ones are kind of pinkish in color. They're small. They look a little shiny. And I think I'm going to write all of that down right on my sheet in the top box there. Then I can smell them and record what I notice about their smell. I can touch them in my hand. They feel a little sticky. Oh, I think it's time for me to taste them. So I can taste these Pop Rocks. And now, I can hear the Pop Rocks. Five senses are some things that you can use in your everyday life to notice the world around you. They can help you feel more connected to the world as well. If you go somewhere that's really beautiful in nature, 
could try taking a minute to use each of your five senses to notice something different and really feel connected and really feel like you're living in the moment, really present in being in that beautiful place. If you weren't able to pick up a bag of supplies at the library, we did include a link right in the description of the video that links you right to this booklet here and this recording sheet here that you can print off and use when you're doing some activities about your five senses. Thank you so much for watching today and tuning in. Today was just a simple lesson on your five senses and how they're used in the world around you every minute of every day. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.